What would it mean if there were not a God? That basically will solve the answer to understanding and knowing that it's most likely that God has to exist. So, if there were not to be a God, first of all, nothing would ever matter. That's basically the way it would always be. Nothing is ever going to matter. Nothing would ever matter if there was not a God. So, when we look at everything that exists, all you notice is that everything matters, and that basically supports and upholds the idea that there most likely is a God, and that there most likely will be a God that will at some point show his face. So, if there is not a God, nothing would ever matter, period, at all. Also, technically, nothing would ever exist, because that's the definition of God, is the creator of everything. So if there was not a God, nothing could ever exist. That would be the absolute proof of there not being a God is that nothing existed. So, back on to the argument that, oh, okay, if there is not a God, then everybody's out of luck. Because, first of all, if there's not a God, no one's ever going to exist ever again. Because of this event that has occurred, supposedly, if there is not a God, can only happen once. Because the only way that something can happen to that nature is with that one chance of if it happens. So it can never happen again if there's not a God, but that doesn't make sense. So what makes more sense is understanding that if there is a God, everything matters everything is going to matter and that's the nature of our existence our universe which most likely concludes that there has to be a god because when you look at the definition of god you understand if there is a god anything and everything will exist so that is his sole purpose of what makes him god is to create anything and everything. So, what always makes more sense is that everything is going to matter, and everything does matter. So that points that there most likely has to be a God, because if there were not to be a God, then nothing would ever matter and nothing is ever going to matter. And third and final conclusion to that is everyone's completely out of luck if there's not a God. So our best bet to place our money on is to hope that there are to be a God, but it becomes more than just a false dream and a false reality to hope, oh man, we only hope there's a God it, because it's it's more than just that because we can scientifically understand that it doesn't make sense that there cannot be a God because we would know for sure if there's not a God if, if I were to jump off the Grand Canyon without any sort of protection and basically free fall that wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter if I jumped off the Grand Canyon and, in a sense, committed suicide because it wouldn't ever matter. So what that means is when you take on the argument that, oh, nothing matters, nothing's ever going to matter, and God doesn't even have to be, then you take on the argument that 
nothing matters. And that doesn't make sense because for the most average person, that is something that is going to matter if I jump off of the Grand Canyon because you would not exist any further, more likely than not, because it would be so tragic and fatal for that approach. So that doesn't make sense that someone can say, oh, it doesn't matter if I jump off the Grand Canyon because everything will continue as is and still remain the same. See, that's the argument of somebody who says that there doesn't have to be a God. And that's their main argument of when they try to claim there is not a God is that there does not have to be a God. Well, the reality is, is if anything's ever going to matter, and if anything even matters, well, then there has to be a God. So that's the way our universe is aligned, which is backed up by the, I believe, the anthropic principle, which proves all of the dynamics and mathematics of the universe is divine, because if that didn't exist, well, then nothing would matter. If that didn't exist, well, then nothing would matter. And then you just go on and on and on about, well, everything has to matter. That would 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 matter. Infinite amounts of things are always going to matter. So when you take on the belief that there does not have to be a God, you just are taking on the conclusion that nothing has to create everything, which never makes any sense, because we never see that in reality where nothing can create anything. In fact, there has never been any, any scientific proof that nothing can create anything. So when they take on a belief that there doesn't have to be a God, they just take on a belief that nothing has to create everything. It doesn't have to be. But it's the opposite because everything matters and if there were to be a God, then that would explain how everything exists and why everything matters. So that's why when, when you look at it, you come to realize, oh, it makes the most sense that God has to be because everything matters. So anyone who tries to take on an argument that it isn't ever going to matter that we need a God, then that's just their statement. They don't have any proof to back that up. You can't back that up. You can't prove that there doesn't have to be a God because the only way anyone can prove that there does not have to be a God is if nothing existed. Then you can prove that God doesn't have to be. But remember, you wouldn't even be able to prove anything if you didn't exist. So that doesn't make any sense. So what confuses the whole argument of there doesn't have to be a God is that whole scientific approach never makes any sense to conclude, oh, nothing can create everything because we already see infinite amounts of nothing as it is and then it doesn't just make everything keep creating everything out of nothing. So when we only seen it happen the one time that it has happened, where the Big Bang, which it only appears as though nothing did create everything, but since science dictates and leans towards that it doesn't make sense that nothing can create everything or nothing can create anything, then it, it points to that there has to be a God. So it doesn't make sense that nothing can create anything. That would be the same thing as me concluding that when I hold my hands out openly and I have nothing in it, that all of a sudden something spontaneous is going to exist. See, you can't take on the argument that, oh, if you give anything 
enough time, or in theory, if you give it forever, then it will happen. Because you don't have forever to observe. Only if you could observe forever in infinite amounts of duration would you know. So you can't know that, that nothing can create anything. You, you, there's no way to know that it's ever possible for nothing to create anything or everything. Because you can't observe through a perspective of watching and seeing infinite amounts of time and checking to see if nothing can ever create everything. So now you're just gambling and rolling the dice when you take on the argument that God doesn't have to be because nothing can create everything. That never makes sense because nowhere in science do we ever see that event happen where nothing just keeps creating everything. See, what would make more sense if nothing can and does create everything is if we always saw that. If you would continually see that nothing is making everything, nothing is making everything, nothing is making everything, nothing is making everything, then it would make a little more sense to maybe take on some sort of argument in that manner. But we never see that happen, except for the one time that it did happen. So, the whole understanding of that is to understand, okay, well, if nothing can create anything, and nothing can create everything, then why doesn't nothing keep doing it? Because if it would do it once, then it would always just keep doing it doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. There wouldn't be a delay. So everyone is looking at the Big Bang and they say, oh, that's something that could just keep happening, keep happening, and keep happening. But when you just say that that's something that can keep happening, there's no factual evidence to back up that that's something that can keep happening because we've only seen it happen one time. So if we've only seen it happen one time, you're always just rolling the dice to say that, oh, that can always just keep happening. That can always just keep happening. Be that wouldn't make sense that that could always just keep happening because if that always just kept happening, where the Big Bang all of a sudden creates everything again and it does it again and it does it again and it does it again, you would see infinite amounts of explosions on the magnitude of the universe creating itself over and over infinitely. There's no evidence to suggest that that's the reality of our nature. And also, it wouldn't make sense that the Big Bang could just always just keep happening, always keep happening, always keep happening. Because that's like me trying to argue, oh, if I hold my hands out openly with nothing in my hands, that boom, there's going to be the Big Bang that creates everything again. So why when I hold out my hands and I observe that I have nothing in my hands, but I believe that nothing can create everything, then why doesn't it happen again? Because we, we've only known for that to only occur one time. So it never makes sense to think that God doesn't have to be, because if God doesn't have to be, the only way you can prove that God doesn't have to be is if nothing existed, because now we would know that God doesn't have to be. So the only thing that we conclude, can conclude that did create everything is either someone or something, not nothing. So that's the big difference between believing that someone or something created everything rather than nothing created everything. So, nowhere in nature do we see that sort of reality where nothing just creates everything. So, for example, like an apartment complex, you don't ever just see some random apartment complex completely constructing itself out of nothing to where nobody had to do anything. Because that doesn't make sense and that's not our nature to where nothing can just all of a sudden do everything. So you basically hold on to an argument that nothing can do anything and everything and has done anything and everything 
but nowhere is there any evidential proof that nothing is doing that. Where, where do people keep seeing that nothing is the solution to the problem? That doesn't ever make any sense. So, yeah, if there's not a God, nothing's ever going to matter and nothing's going to exist because that's what the definition of God is, is, well, everything will matter and then all of a sudden everything will exist. He will have to create everything. So 99.999999% of all the evidence of there having to be a God makes sense that there has to be a God. Now, the one chance for there to be a God is that he has to always exist. So that goes both ways. So the one chance that there's not a God is if he never existed and if it happens. So if we can prove that nothing actually did create everything, that's the one chance that there could ever be that there doesn't have to be a God for everything to exist, is if you could prove that, if you could prove it. But there's no way to prove that because our nature of reality is not dictated in that manner or construct of existence.